Authorities are warning that the death toll from Saturday's twin suicide bomb attack could climb. A local government official said most of those injured were in a critical condition. Two blasts ripped through the town of Damboe in Borno State on Saturday evening. They targeted people returning from celebrations of the Eid al-Fitr holiday. Boko Haram militants are the main suspects. Following the bombings, the jihadists fired rocket-propelled grenades into the crowds that had gathered at the scene of the first attack, driving the number of casualties even higher. Investigations into the incident are underway. Borno is the state that is worst hit by the Boko Haram insurgency. Well, for more on this, we're now joined by CGTN's Phil Ahaza. He's live with us in Abuja. Uh, Phil, what we understand so far is that the death toll is nearing around 30, but many more still injured. Just tell us about uh, th those that have been injured, the latest on those figures. Oh, thank you, Lindy. Well, we know that official figures released by uh, the Nigerian police through the State Commissioner of Police, Damian Chuku, uh, put the figure as 20 dead and 48 others injured. Uh, well, eyewitnesses at the scene argue that these figures may rise above uh, 48 injured. Uh, we also know that uh, the victims have been transferred to several hospitals by the State Emergency Management Agency, as well as security operatives and residents uh, or locals at the scene. Uh, they are currently receiving treatment at the University of uh, Maiduguri Teaching Hospital and Dambo General Hospital. And indeed, Phil, of course, we've seen that Borno State has been hardest hit by Boko Haram attacks. And this one coming rather significantly right at the end of Ramadan. Does it suggest perhaps that uh, authorities are still struggling to truly end this Boko Haram insurgency? Well, it is rather unfortunate that just at, at a time where the Nigerian military uh, has repeatedly given assurances of uh, the safety of the northern part of the country, especially uh, in Bernou State, where lots of uh, residents have been told, uh, rather displaced people have been told to return to their residence, and then we're witnessing these kind of attacks. It, uh, there's no doubt it, put, it puts, uh, uh, you know, holes or questions, concerns as to the success recorded so far by the military. However, security analysts have uh, said that the Nigerian military needs to change its tactics, uh, you know, in combating these insurgents. They describe the battle as a guerrilla or asymmetric warfare. Phil Ihaza, thanks very much for that update. Joining us there live from Abuja.